You must be here for the math lesson. Yes, well today we're going to try factoring a trinomial. Say it with me. Trinomial. Yes. Now, a trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. <laughs> That's my favorite number. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Gee, Anthony, I already know how to factor out a trinomial. You just use that x. Wow. There's a little something extra to this one. Let me show you. Boing! Magic! Now, this is what I was talking about. See this? Notice any differences? Well, I bet if you look a little closer, you will. Is that better for you? Now do you see the difference? If you don't, I'll just point it out for you. You see, there is an A right in front of the X squared. Gee, where did that come from? Ah, uh, don't worry guys. I will teach you how to do this. Dun, 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 dun. Now at first, you might get a little scared. I mean, you're not used to seeing that A in front of the X squared. You're just used to seeing X squared plus BX plus C. You might be thinking, Oh no! We must have to do a bunch of other work! Well, let me tell you something. It's basically the same thing, except it's completely different. You see, what you're used to doing is just making that X, putting that middle term on the bottom, putting that last term on the top, doing your thing, you know, yada yada yada. But with this one, you actually have to take this entire term and multiply it with this term. Yeah, I know. But, let's see an actual problem to get a better perspective on it. Boing! <laughs> more magic. Anyway, this is your first example. 3n squared plus 14n minus 5. Now, like I said, what you want to do is multiply the first term with the last. So, 3n squared times negative 5 should get you negative 15n squared. Make an x and put that at the top. On the bottom, you want to put the middle term, 14n. The next step shouldn't be very hard, since you guys already know it. Which two numbers multiply together to make negative 15n squared and add together to make 14n? The answers are 15n and negative 1n. Now I know what you're thinking. Well gee Anthony, that wasn't too bad at all. In fact, the only difference was the variables. Well, I kinda got bad news for you. That's not all you have to do. I know, I know, I know. But hey, this is like your last step. Now what you want to do is make a box like this, with four squares in it. In the first square, you want to put the first term from the original problem. In the last square, put the last. <laughs> now, go back to your x, and the first factor that you got, put it in the bottom left square. The second factor that you got, top right. Should look like this, folks. Now all you gotta do is figure out which four numbers here multiply together to make these four numbers. I'll show you what I mean. You see, negative one, and n make negative 1n. And n and 3n make 3n squared. Now, 3n and 5 make 15n. And 5 and negative 1 make negative 5. Now you just write out what you see. Like this. 3n minus 1 and n plus 5. All right, guys, let's do one more example, really quick. 2b squared plus 13b minus 7. 2b squared times negative 7 equals negative 14b squared. Put the middle term in the bottom, 13b. Now, 14b times negative 1b equals negative 14b squared. 14b plus negative 1b equals 13b. Make your box. Put the terms in the correct places that they go b times 2b equals 2b squared. b times negative 1 equals negative 1b. 7 times 2b equals 14b. 7 times negative 1 equals negative 7. Now just write out what you see. Just like this. b plus 7 and 2b minus 1. Yay! We did it! Did you like it? Did you have fun? I know I did. Well, kids, 
That's it for me. All I have to say now is stay in school.